In this equation, we have HF, an acid, plus MgOH2, that's our base, so this is going to be a neutralization reaction, and we always end up with a salt, MgF2, and water. Let's count the atoms up on each side. We have one hydrogen right here, and then we have this hydrogen here, and the two, that applies to everything, so the two times the one, that gives us two for a total of three hydrogens on the reactant side. Fluorines, we have one. Magnesiums, we have one. And then again, the two, that goes to everything, so two times one, that gives us two oxygen atoms. Over on the product side, two hydrogens, two fluorines, one magnesium, and one oxygen. We have an odd number here, but let's leave the hydrogens and let's deal with the fluorine first and then see how that changes things. So I have two over here on the products and one here. I can put a coefficient of two in front of the hydrofluoric acid. So for the fluorine, this two goes to everything. So one times two, we have two fluorines. And then let's update the hydrogens here. So we have the one times the two, that's two hydrogen atoms. Plus we have this one here times the two, two more, that gives us four. And that's actually kind of nice. Having that odd number there, that three, would have made it difficult. So now let's fix the hydrogens over here. We have four here and two here. So on the water, I could put a coefficient of two. Now we have two times two. That'll give us four hydrogens. Those are balanced. And then for the oxygen, we have the one times the two. And that gives us two oxygens. And at this point, everything's the same on each side. So this equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation of HF plus MgOH2 yields MgF2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.